Hi friends, today is a special day in the life of the church. Today is Holy Cross Day, or the Feast of the Holy Cross. Now, when we call things feast days in the church, we don't necessarily mean we're gonna eat a feast, like have a whole bunch of food. But what we do mean is that there is something important to celebrate. Two of the most famous feast days in the church are Christmas and Easter. Now you can imagine on those days, we have so much to celebrate. But on the Feast of the Holy Cross, there is something to celebrate too. On this day, we celebrate the cross and what it means for us and for the world. The cross reminds us of God's powerful love for each of us. God loves us so much that he sent Jesus into the world to save us. When Jesus died on the cross and rose again, he made a way for us to draw close to God so that we can have God in our hearts today and we can be with God forever in heaven. When I look at this cross, I am reminded of God's powerful and strong love for each of us. I wonder if there are any crosses at your house. Or maybe you have a cross like this one, but maybe there might be some crosses hiding in plain sight in your house or around your neighborhood. There might even be some crosses hiding here in the chapel or around the church campus that I can go hunt for. But I encourage you this week to take a look, see in your neighborhood, in your house, where might you find a hidden cross? Like maybe in a window frame or maybe a telephone pole. Maybe there are tree branches that make the shape of a cross. As you look for these crosses, you can celebrate that Jesus loves us so much and that he made a way for us to be with God in heaven forever. I have a special prayer I'd like to pray with us. This is the special prayer for Holy Cross Day in our Book of Common Prayer. Let's pray together. Almighty God, whose Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, was lifted high upon the cross so that he might draw the whole world to himself. Mercifully grant that we who glory in the mystery of our redemption may have grace to take up our cross and follow him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God in glory everlasting. Amen.